Hello, my name is Akash Arora, and I'm a developer at Radiant ZMAX. Today I'd like to talk to you about roadway lighting design, and the features in ZMAX 13 that can aid the roadway lighting designer. The first feature that I'd like to discuss is the roadway lighting analysis. It allows you to calculate data according to the CIE 140-2000 roadway lighting specification. In addition, it can help you quickly determine whether the luminaire you've designed is passing or failing that specification. Let's take a look at how it works. In this system, we've defined a ray file which represents measured data from a real roadway luminaire. We've obtained this data from the manufacturer's website. We're also showing a polar viewer that indicates what the far field intensity pattern of this luminaire looks like. It's this far field data that the roadway lighting analysis uses to perform its computation. The roadway lighting analysis can be found under the analysis applications menu. In the settings, you'll notice several settings pertaining to the luminaire and several settings pertaining to the roadway. Luminaire settings include things like mounting height, arrangement, and longitudinal spacing. Roadway settings include things like the number of lanes and lane width. When you click OK, ZMAX presents the data to you as the value computed, the target based upon the surface classification, and a quick indication as to whether the value is passing or failing the target. What happens if the luminaire that you've designed is failing the specifications? Well, ZMAX has a tool for that as well, and it's the NSC Roadway Merit Function tool. It can be found under the Editor's menu, Merit Function, in the Merit Function Editor, under the Design menu, select NSC Roadway Merit Function. You'll see here that many of the settings are identical compared to what's in the Roadway Lighting Analysis. We have Luminaire settings, Roadway settings, and some other settings that are pertinent to ray tracing and construction of the Merit Function. If I click OK, ZMAX quickly adds the operands necessary. One operand is added to trace rays and compute the far field intensity distribution. Several operands are added to compute the data specified in the CIE standard. And you'll also notice that several operands are added to target boundary thresholds. The specs in the CIE document are actually boundary thresholds, so we target those instead of absolute values for the computed data. From here, optimization proceeds as normal. We define variables and execute a local or a global optimization. These capabilities in ZMAX 13 provide the roadway lighting designer with some capabilities that allow you to optimize and design roadway lighting systems. For more information on these features and all the other new features that are in ZMAX 13, you can go to our website, www.radiantzmax.com. Thank you for watching.